So I was taking videos, or oh, photos today actually, and when I was taking photos, I watched back at the video that I took for my screenshots, and I saw how my body was looking, and I was just like, absolutely not. I hated it. It was not cute, and I was not here for it. So today, we're doing a Sunday reset. I have to work tomorrow, but we're doing a little Sunday reset kind of thing, and we're going to go and get the house together and everything. I'm going to be getting up my room today. My grandmother's been staying, us, staying with us for a couple days, about a good week, and and I'm about to get my life together. It is time to happen. I literally look at my tummy. Like, look at this relationship weight that I've been gaining. Look at all this flabbergasting. So, we're gonna take at least, let's say two months, and we're going to dedicate ourselves to a fitness journey. And this is the part one of the documentary. So I'm on the toilet right now, and I'm having a lot of anxiety because there's fireworks, and I don't know the difference between fireworks and thunder. I look like a rat. <laughs> I look like a rat, rat, rat. So I'm about to take a shower. I have to get up really early in the morning because I have to work out in the morning. Actually, that's a lie. I have to get up early because I have to be at work by nine and I have to be out this house by 7.30 so that I can take the train all the way to work tomorrow. And um, I'm not excited at all, no. Um, because that means I gotta eat breakfast here and potentially starve to death sounds fun right so what I have to do right now is I'm gonna take a shower um, I have some my shoelaces for my um, for my outfit tomorrow is sitting in my in a cold cut because I've bleached them because I just um, I clean my Air Forces and stuff so tomorrow's the first day I'm actually putting in effort because I haven't really been going out I've really been going to Target and stuff my house is clean that's rare my house is never this clean so I'm excited I'm happy so yeah, I'm gonna put this video together. I'm gonna start editing right now so that I don't have to edit too much tomorrow. I'm filming tomorrow as well. This is a lot. I'm having a lot of stress and anxiety right now because you know, it's a lot going on and I just wish there was not a lot going on. I was supposed to have, I was supposed to um, have a boy over, you know, just to chill and everything. Cause you know, your girl is single now. I was in a relationship for one year. The entire time I was out, I was in a relationship. And now that I'm like single, I don't want anything serious right now, especially because that relationship only ended about, about a month ago. So I'm freshly single, I'm tiredly single. And I don't know, I'm not in the best place when it comes to dating, but then again, I'm also in the mood for daters. So I'm up ready to go i need coffee because i'm tired as and <laughs> i just did my skincare i'm about to start my makeup i'm not gonna film my makeup today because you know way too much stuff going on and yeah that's what we're doing um i'm gonna film i'm not gonna film my makeup but i'm going to come back to you guys when i'm done with it I have to get up. I have about 45 minutes to get ready. I'm looking for a shirt that I claimed that I found last night. And now I it's nowhere to be found currently at this moment in time. So we're just sitting here praying that it shows up out of nowhere. So I was in a big, big rush getting out the house. And I'm just now getting to the train station because I'm running so late for work right now. This lighting is giving. Those have seven minutes till my train comes. That's not cool. I don't like that. 
I know it's seven minutes, but like for a train, that's a lot. That is a lot of time. But here's the fit. Got on my cash pants with my shoe, shoes. Um, I have this cute little bag that I always bring. It's always, oh, the lighting is so like, it's giving, but it's not, but it's giving, but it's not. But um, I have five minutes before my next train comes. Um, I had to quickly do my hair. I did this like quick little like TikTok bun that I did. It took me like 20 minutes to do. And I'm running late, very, very late. But I still, if I'm, if nine o'clock hits, I'm gonna go to McDonald's and get me something to eat because I'm hungry and I had instant grits. I had a packet of instant grits and I thought that was gonna be enough, but it was not. So hopefully everything works out. My eyebrows are not slaying today. It's okay. This is why these are here to cover the spot. <laughs> So I'm currently in my desk right now. I just got here and I just got to my desk sitting down. My makeup looks sweaty and disgusting and I am tired. <laughs> I wasn't able to stop and get something to eat like I wished, but I'm just happy my hair survived that train ride. I'm just, just really happy my hair survived that train ride. But I'm gonna do some touch-ups later. I know as you guys can see, my eyebrows is the only thing surviving right now. So, I'm just at this point just sitting here waiting as like like literally my job let me how can I set my camera I literally no joke sit here I sit here and I wait for them to tell me what to do <laughs> and it's the best job ever and I love it I got in the office around like 8.50 something so I had like 10 minutes to kill but then again I wasn't gonna risk it by going to McDonald's because like my boss is really really strict about being on time and if you're late he will get on you, on you about it so no one's in the office right now just some people working on you know stuff and both of my bosses are not here yet oh no my boss is here my cousin Joe is here and he is in the other building in Howard and I am sitting here tired because that train ride was exhausting and I know when I get home I'm gonna be tired I hate plugging in my chargers in the morning but it's a job that needs to be done In the bathroom, taking a break. I'm really excited. I had to come in here and fix my hair because that bun was giving me the blues. I was not okay with it. It was hurting my head so bad. So I just took my hair down and put my hair to the back. As you guys can see, my little, well, my little behind self is back in this bathroom, just chilling. Say hi to the camera. Just, let me look at this bun that I did in the back. Cute, cute. My makeup right now looks ridiculous. Um, but I have a few more hours. I, it's about almost 12. I get off at, I, it's almost 12. I get off at five. Yeah, I'm just in the bathroom, breaking a sweat, you know, working out, killing the game. No, I'm not. I'm in the bathroom chilling and I have about five minutes until I have to be back. But my literal workstation is around the corner in the hall. So I have a lot of time in this bathroom. And then after we get out the bathroom, I'm gonna go start packing up because I have to get ready for lunch. I'm just having a little bathroom break moment. The bathroom breaks are timed here. So let's head back to the station. So it is time for lunch. I've never been, I love the lunch here at Howard. It's so good. And oh, it's 
hot as balls out here. I'm so tired and I'm so hungry and I'm ready for lunch. While I'm walking down, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of, you know, Layla Howard history. So, I have a long line of working here at Howard. Um, when I was in middle school, I came here for sixth grade and I went to their middle school. Then I toured this place when I was in middle school and it was amazing and I loved it, it was so amazing. And then a few years later, I joined their Upper Bound program, which allowed me to stay, well, first year I didn't stay on campus because of COVID, of course. But the second year I came and I got to stay on campus and I had roommates and everything and I stayed in their dorms and it was amazing. I'm, it was so good. And then this is my third year. I'm not in the Upper Bound program, but I'm an office assistant for the Upper Bound program. And it's amazing and I love it. So I've been on this campus for a while now and I love the campus. It's amazing. The only problem is it's on a hill. And every single time I walk around this campus, I'm out of breath at each time. But I will say, it has built my stamina. As you guys can hear, the bell is ringing. And that it, when I hear the bell, I think of black excellence. Brown versus Board of Education. Y'all see that last one right here, like that, that door right there? That's where Brown versus Board of Education was deliberated. And you guys know I want to be a lawyer so bad. And when I saw that room, I was sold. I was like, man. So as far as colleges go, because I know some people have been asking me about what college I want to go to. Stevenson is a big one. Stevenson is a big one. There's also Howard, of course, obviously. Here's the middle school right here that I went to. Hey, boo! God damn, you scared me. I thought you were like some sort of shooter or something. Vlogging today, guys. I'm looking for a cute, sexy girlfriend, y'all. Yeah. I already have one. Let me Let eat the, the coast. <laughs> You're not supposed to see this video, but, but I'm I not gonna know. lie. I didn't know Christian was back. Oh yeah, he just got back today. I didn't know that. I was in there, about to go in for my lunch break, and they gave me like a million things to do. And I was like, why y'all giving me a million things for lunch? Y'all gonna make me feel guilty of walking out. Girl, I'm walking out of the park. What's the video? That's if I even go on a trip. I'm not trying to do this homework. Oh, I forgot homework existed here. I might just say not going that trip. I don't give a You just, the trip is optional. The trip is optional. You don't have to go. But the thing is, it's no, he said that you have to like have a GPS or a GPA and grades to go on the trip. Yeah, you're right. that's 3.0. That's really easy to maintain here. I mean, true. four classes, girl. True. I had a 4.0 when I was here. It was light work. And then, first of all, it is light work, but like that, damn. Are we doing scholars ball this year? I think, I'm, mean, yeah. I want to do it because I couldn't last year. I want to do it because I lost last year. Yeah. Yes, because I had a well, I my I lost first round. Two. Uh, I forgot. Hannah and her team. Oh, Is that good comp or no? I huh? Is that good comp? No, and I had I just had bad teammates. I was really? carrying all the weight. Do it again. 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 I need to put the pig one. Do the door one. Oh my god. That was hilarious. Pig. Oh, Peppa Pig. That's not me. <laughs> Hola, soy Dora. Do you see the big red hill? <laughs> no, it's not there. Can you tell Boots where the big yellow boots are? <laughs> so when I was in the um the program last year, I went on their end of year trip. And we went to Chicago. On the way back, on the way there, I was really tired because we got here at six o'clock on a Sunday, trying to get there by the next day. And that was really difficult. But we went from going from DC to Chicago. We went from DC to Dayton to Chicago. And I remember telling myself, on the way back, I'm gonna sleep. Forgetting all the motives that I had, 
I went to McDonald's and got myself my favorite drink ever at McDonald's, a caramel frappuccino with Oreos. And it's so, so bomb and it's so good and it's so bust. So then I forgot about my motive. Then when I went to go try to fall asleep, I couldn't fall asleep. And I was like, oh damn. So I had to go in my bag and find some melatonin to knock myself out. But let's just say I was very sick because having coffee in the melatonin is not very good for you. And I was sick for the next two days and I had to go to the doctor. Funny story from the fact that I drifted away from my goals because of temptation. So that's a really good lesson for you guys. Don't drift away from your goals because of temptation because sometimes that temptation will drift you away to the point where you can't come back properly. Almost in the Blackburn Center. I'm so tired. I really hope, I just hope this building's air conditioning is cranking right now. It's hot as f up here. Uh, I'm so tired. And don't don't be in the comments of someone you're cussing during your shift. Nobody is around. My boss is not here. He's down there eating his lunch. On top of that, when I'm on trips, I can do it if I want. But yeah, I'm leaving here by 4.15 and I'm gonna head over to the Lindsay Hall so I can grab my, go grab my old roommate, Lucy, and we're going to take the train home together. So I don't have to ride the train by myself today. And then I'm gonna go home, cook some dinner for the kids, if you my dad. So I just finished my shift, as you guys can see on my face. I fell asleep in the middle of my shift. I was that tired. I woke up and it was 4.15 on the dot. But I'm just trying to make it to Lindsay Hall before 4.30 when my shift ends because once 4.30 ends, I don't hear the announcements for tomorrow and I don't get nothing. But it's not like my paycheck is gonna come in any different. But yeah, this outfit, so cute, definitely wearing this more often. This is such a cute outfit, but tomorrow's outfit is about to be the bummest thing on planet Earth because we're going to iFly tomorrow and nobody cares. Lindsay, Lindsay Hall, and I'm ready to go. Say hi guys. Come on. My camera. Stay vlog. Hey. You know what I'm doing? Shh. This train, right? It's shit like, it used to be making a lot of noise. Cause everybody tired as just came home from work. Can y'all sit here? You know we just sitting right there. You got booty, say no. Okay, I'm editing that out. Okay, I just got home. My makeup looks insane because I went out for a run and I'm literally sweating every ounce of makeup off. So I'm about to take this all off and get my skin together. Keep in mind, I looked amazing this morning. I'm tired. Went out for a run, did about, oh, oh, let me pick that up. Went out for a run, did about a mile and a half, and I feel like crap. Oh, my arms and my legs hurt. And did I mention that I feel like crap? So, I'm about to wash my face real quick before I take a shower because I always have to wash my face at the sink and I sometimes forget that I should do it at the sink. Then I'm gonna take a shower, cook dinner, take a shower, do my like skincare and all that jazz. Then I'm gonna cook dinner. And then after that, I'm gonna chill for about an hour and some change, probably get some work done. Because believe it or not, I have work to do. Lots of work to do for school. So summer, summer assignments are no joke. So I need to get through one book. Oh God, I need to shower really bad. Hopefully that, because I don't layer as a foundation today. And then tomorrow is going to be an extreme, extremely light makeup day. We're just gonna let her blow all the sweat. Let's just take a look at the sides. The sides look still look clean. They still look clean. Ooh, the side part, I keep forgetting the side part exists. 
but it's painful right now because my, my braids are only a couple days old. They feel like they're about to start becoming like frizzy. So I'm going to, I'm going to put some mousse and like do the conditioner, do my whole nine yards so that my hair can be ready. I know in the summertime when my hair sweats, it's annoying. Uh, okay, but before I get in the shower, I like to do this because I do have sensitive skin. So I rub Vaseline under my eyes to maintain that moisture. Okay, and then my eyeballs. And then lipity lipities. Lipity 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 lipities. Something I want to do right now is like go on the fair as well at the harbor, but I can't do that right now because I just got off work. But if I like, if somebody asks me like, "Hey, you want to like go out tonight?" I'm just like, "Yeah." I'm good. Why does my phone keep falling? Probably because it's not on my tripod. But yeah, I'm gonna take a shower. I'm kind of tired, so yeah. It is a wrap for today's memory. Wait, hold on. That's a lie. Anyway, in my keys and my AirPods and then let me make sure they have both AirPods on it. Yep, it is this. So that is a wrap on today's vlog. It's barely, like, it's still some sort of shed light outside. So that is a wrap on today's video, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like, and subscribe all my all of my social medias are linked in the description box below and i will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new vlog bye